Hello, guys. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Well, guys, welcome to the people that is already connected. Welcome once again to another class. And we're just going to wait for the other ones to connect. We still have like one minute. Okay, guys, welcome to another class. So um, today we're going to start with something that we left yesterday. Welcome to people that is always on time. Thank you so much for that. So, but I would like to know, guys, are you working on the platform? Yes. All right, and how is that going? Was it difficult? It has been easy, or how do you feel about that? Um, terminate, terminate lection one. All right, very good. Thank you so much for that. Keep on doing that, okay? So thank you. All right, guys, do so you remember that yesterday we left an exercise for the simple present with the questions. Do you remember that? Yeah. All right. So for today, we are going to continue with the exercise that we couldn't finish yesterday because of the time. So today we're going to do that and we're going to start with that. So let me, let me share the screen. So I'm going to start asking some people to verify that you have worked at home. So can you see the screen, the, the slide? Can you see it? Do you? The one. Do you drink mineral water? All right. All right, so I'm going to need some help. Let me see, number one, someone already said that. So let me see, uh, I will need some help from Angelica, number two, Beatriz Inocente, number three, Lizette Castillo, number four, Gloria Ramirez, number five, Eric Ramirez, number six. Tatiana Martinez, number seven. Roxana, number eight. And Monica Calderon, number nine. And the last one is going to be for Catherine Ramirez. So go ahead, guys. Let me see what you got. 
Hello. Hello. Are you listening? Can you hear me like clearly? Yes, Lisa. All right, so please, who did I say number one? Do you drink mineral water? Mm -hmm. Number two. Do Sarah and Linda feed their pets? Number three. Number Does your teacher check your homework? Does your teacher check? Very good. Number four. Do you they live in the whole own house? Can you repeat that again? Do you they live in the old house? No, in that case, you cannot say, do you they? No, it's not possible. Do they? Do they? Do they live in the old house? Do they live in the old house? Do they live? All right, like that. Number five. Does the cat to sit on the wall in the morning? Okay, in that case, the preposition to or the preposition to in that case, we cannot say it. We don't have to say it. So it will be, does the cat sit on the wall in the morning? Does the cat sit on the wall in the morning? Like that. Okay, very good. Thank you. Number six. Does Nina play computer games? Very good. Thank you. Oh, can you repeat again? Hello? Do they, do they, do they? Can, can you repeat it again? Live in the old house. Uh, does Nina play computer games? Correct. So it is, does Nina play computer games? ¿Por qué es does? It is because we are talking about Nina. It, it is third person. She. Correct. Correct. Thank you so much. Number seven. Does your parents watch TV in the afternoon? It is correct to say, does your parents? It is do. Do, do your do parents. Your parents. Very good. Usamos do because we are talking about Pluto. It is not third person. So, do your parents watch TV in the afternoon? Okay, very good. Number eight. Do your grandmother answer the phone? Okay. That someone has any different answer? That's your grandmother Correct. answer the phone? Correct. We use das, usamos das, because we are talking about a grandmother. ¿Y qué es grandmother? Ter, 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 abuela. abuela. That's abuela, she. and that means it is a she. person. She. Okay, very good. Number nine. Does Andy do that shopping? Can you repeat it again? 
does Andy do the shopping? Does Andy do the shopping? Very good, thank you. And the last one, number 10. Do Gary in camp have a cup of the tea in the afternoon? Very good. Do Gary and Ken have a cup of tea in the afternoon? Okay, that's very good. Thank you so much for that, guys. So for today's topic, we're going to see something completely different that, that the things that we have seen during this stage. For today's topic, we are going to see a little bit of vocabulary, okay? So uh, before going to that, uh, to that presentation, I would like to ask you, is there any question regarding to the simple present when questions or sentences, is there any question about or something that you would like me to explain to you one more time or is everything clear? En el ejercicio, teacher. Good night. En el ejercicio, en el paréntesis, decía tú y el verbo. ¿Por qué siempre llevaba tú? Porque ese tú es la forma infinitiva del verbo. Es la forma infinitiva. Siempre todos los verbos en inglés, en su forma infinitiva, van a tener ese tú. Ese tú al final no cambia el significado del verbo. El verbo siempre va a significar lo mismo, pero es la forma infinitiva. Nada más. ¿Por qué no quiere? Teacher. ¿Y dónde se usa, teacher? O sea, ¿dónde lo ponemos? O sea, no entiendo esa parte. Yo. That in the case, en el caso del tú, cuando estamos utilizando el simple present, Nunca va a ser necesario poner el tú. Nunca. A no ser que tengamos dos verbos. Por ejemplo, déjeme mostrar. Sí. Let me show you this right now. For example, here. If I have an example like this, I need to tell you. If you can notice, si se fijan en este caso, si yo estoy utilizando el tú, pero por qué? Porque este tú me habilita para que yo pueda unir dos verbos. Aquí tengo más de un verbo, tengo dos. Es decir, cuando utilizo un verbo y luego quiero utilizar otro verbo, entonces en medio de los dos verbos yo voy a poner el tú para que me los una. And that means necesito decirte. That's the only case where we are going to use the two. But when it comes to questions, when it comes to something like the exercise, like this one, in this case, it's not necessary to use the preposition two. Okay. Do you understand? Teacher, o sea, can... Para unir los dos verbos se usaría tú en vez de usar M, por, por decir I. Yeah, in this case, we cannot, en este caso no podemos, no podemos utilizar una conjunction, que sería end. Porque si yo quiero decir, for example, the same thing. ¿Te vas a cerrar la puerta, Andrés, despacio, cierrar? Let me show you right now. Let me see. If I have a, something like this here, I cannot say I need the and tell you. Necesito y decirte. No. 
Recuérdense que el and, it is only for you to give more information. El and se utiliza para unir información, no verbos. The only word that we are going to use to connect to verbs is going to be the preposition to. Y para preguntar cómo sería ahí. And this one. It will be something like this. I need to tell you something. Necesito decirte algo. I need to tell you something. ¿Cómo hago la pregunta? Simple, easy. Do I need to tell, sorry, to tell you something? Something. And the question mark. And the question mark. And WH question. You see, what do I need to tell you? Thank you. All right. De las dos formas se puede preguntar, teacher. Yeah, of course. Do you remember the class of yesterday? Yesterday, we saw yes. the two ways. Mm -hmm. We saw that we can ask just with the auxiliary do, or we can use a WH question. Both ways are correct. All right, so if there's no questions, guys, about that, I'm going to close that topic for today and we are going to go to the new one that we have for today's class okay so uh let me go to the new presentation that we have for today let me show you today we're Teacher. going yes i have a question yes tell ayer me. en las reglas que usted mencionó que se agregaba este cuando terminaban los verbos en y y antes de esa y eh, Había una vocal, pero usted dijo que quedaba tal cual. Pero se agrega la S, ¿verdad? Hmm. Let me see. Yesterday I said that, for example, when we have a verb like this. Let me show you. When we have a verb like this, like the verb play. We, uh -huh. the, on the third person, we are going to add just the letter S. Solo vamos a agregar una letra S. Why? Because we cannot do this. No podemos hacer esto. No. Why? Because the verb, uh -huh. antes de la letra Y, we have a vowel. Tenemos una vocal. Si no tuviéramos una vocal, uh -huh. sino que tuviéramos una consonante, como like this verb, en este caso sí lo modificaría. Yes. Pero, ok. Mm -hmm. Sí, pero yo no escuché bien. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. So, um, let's go to the new topic for today, guys. Today we're going to see vocabulary about routine, daily routine. So, for today, we are going to see, or we are going to know a little bit about vocabulary that we use every single day that we use on daily basis. Cosas que hacemos diariamente, all right? So, we are going to start with that. What is, what is a routine? Uh, let me see. Beatriz Inocente, can you please help me reading this part, please? What is a routine? A routine is the usual series of things that you, you do at a particular time. A routine is also the practice of re regular 
doing things in a fixed order. Okay, thank you so much. As it says over there, a routine is the usual series of things that you do at a particular time. It says that also a routine, it is a practice or regularly doing things in a fixed order. As you can see there, we have some, some things that we do every single day. As an example, we have uh, like watch TV, we have like wake up, we have going to school, we have take a shower, we have make exercises or exercise. And those are the most common things that we do every single day. So today, I'm going to show you a list, a list of some routines that we do every single day. So I'm going to tell you the pronunciation of some of them. And after that, I will ask you to verify if you pay attention to the pronunciation, okay? So I'm going to start with the first one. Do the laundry. Do the laundry. Number two, hang the clothes. Hang the clothes. Number three, iron the clothes. Iron the clothes. Number four, make the bed. Make the bed. Number five, go to bed. Or go to bed. Go to bed. The next one, wake up. Wake up. The next one, brush the teeth. ¿Se recuerdan? What did I say about the TH sound? What is the sound that we do when we have a TH? C. Like that. The sound of the letter C in Spanish. Brush the teeth. Drive to work. Get home. Take a bath. Brush your hair. Your hair, I'm sorry. Brush your hair. Surf the net, surf the net, and play with friends. So let me ask, uh, Eric Ramirez, can you please help me reading the first five? Number one, two, three, four, and five, please. Uh, first, please repeat, teacher. Do the laundry. Do the laundry in Spanish or only oh. pronunciation? Oh, the, in Spanish that means lavar o hacer la lavandería. Do the laundry. Do the, do the laundry. Hand the clothes. Iron the clothes. Make the bell. Go to the bell. Perfect. Angelica Lasso, help me with another five. Desde wake up, verdad? Yep. Wake up, brush the teeth, drive to work, get home, take a bath. Very good. And the last one, Kelia Osorio, can you please help me read in the last three? Brush your hair, surf the net, play with friends. Okay, guys, very good. I'm going to give you the meaning in Spanish. So once again, number one, do the laundry. Hacer la lavandería o lavar. Number two, hang the clothes. Tender o colgar la ropa. Iron the clothes. Planchar la ropa. Make the bed. Hacer la cama. Go to bed. Irse a la cama. Wake up. Despertarse. Brush the teeth. Cepillarse. Drive to work. Conducir al trabajo. Get home. Llegar a casa. Take a bath. 
Tomar una ducha o un baño. Brush your hair. Peinarse el cabello. Surf the net. Navegar por la internet. Play with friends. Jugar con amigos. All right. So let's go to the next list. We have go to school, go shopping, exercise, wash the car, get dressed, go out with a friend, take pictures, play the guitar, water the plant, go for a walk work, have breakfast, have lunch. Once again, go to school, go shopping, exercise, wash the car, get dressed, go out with a friend, take pictures, play the guitar, water the plant, go for a walk, work, have breakfast and have lunch. Now I'm going to give you the meaning in Spanish. Number one, go to school, ir a la escuela. Number two, go shopping, ir de compras. Exercise, ejercitarse. Wash the car, lavar el carro. Get dressed, vestirse. Go out with a friend, salir con un amigo. Take a picture, tomar fotografías, play the guitar, tocar la guitarra, water the plant, regar las plantas, go for a walk, salir a caminar, work, trabajar, have breakfast, desayunar o tener desayuno, and have lunch, almorzar o tener almuerzo. So, any questions so far? Eh, siempre que digamos como una rutina se dice la hora o no es necesario cuando se dice no it's sometimes it's not necessary it's not necessary we are going to see some examples later on but right now we're just checking general information okay if there's no question at this moment let's go to the next one here we have another list aquí tenemos otra list Okay. Here. Yes. I have a question. Yes, tell me. Uh, when use shopping and when use um, purchase. Purchase. Purchase is comprar algo. Eh, es como en línea. Como en línea. Tú compras algo, tú lo ves y tú, y tú lo haces la compra. You purchase it. Pero cuando es shopping, es que tú vas a un lugar, por ejemplo, like uh, Metro Centro, Galerías, all those things that you go to shop. Que vas a un centro comercial o que vas al centro y que andas viendo por todos lugares, siempre comprando. That's shopping. And purchase, most of the time it is used when you go to the internet, when you use any application, cuando usas alguna aplicación para hacer una compra online. Thank you. All right. So with this list, we have have dinner, make dinner, fold the laundry, surf the net, Feed the dog, take a taxi, wait for the boss, paint the picture, have a break or take a break, walk the dog, take out the rubbish, sweep the floor, break the leaves, read the news, clean the window, cut the grass, do the dishes, and paint the house. So I'm going to give you once again 
da meaning. Have dinner, cenar o tener cena. Make dinner, hacer la cena. Fold the laundry. Esto es como completar la lavandería. Surf the net. Esta se volvió a repetir. It's navegar en internet, right? Feed the dog. Alimentar al perro. Take a taxi. Tomar un taxi. Wait for the bus. Esperar el bus. Paint the picture. Pintar un retrato. Aquí, here in this one, we have have a break and take a break. As you can notice over there, we have two differences. In UK, it's in United Kingdom, in el Reino Unido, so utiliza the expression have a break. But in the United States of America, they use take a break. Both means the same. But depending on the country, it means some, it, they use it in a different way. Okay? So walk the dog, caminar con el perro, take out the rubbish, es como sacar la basura, sweep the floor, es trapear, rake the leaves, es como cortar las ramas de los árboles, Read the news, leer las noticias, clean the window, limpiar las ventanas, cut the grass, cortar la grama, do the dishes, lavar los trastes, and paint the house. That is, pintar la casa. So, with that being said, Roxana Lopez, read the first seven of the list. Read them. Seven. Seven of them. Hot dinner, make dinner, fold the laundry, serve the net, feed the dog, take a taxi, wait for the bus, paint the picture, have a break, Take a break. Very good. Thank you. Let me see. Um, Eduardo. Eduardo Mercado. Help me reading the other part, please. ¿Cuántos me dio? Just all the parts. All of it. This the why for the book. No, no, no. Walk the dog. Oh, yes. Walk the dog. Walk the dog. Walk the dog. In that one, in esa no pronunciamos la letra L. Solo decimos walk. Walk, walk. the dog. Walk the dog. Day of the rabbit. Whip the floor. Ray the leaves. The leaves. Rip the, the leaves. Read the news. Clean the window. Cook the grass. Do the dish. The dishes. The dishes. Paint the house. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Here, Teacher, I have a question. Yes, go and ahead. Live, live is the verb, and the word live, como vivir, se pronuncia live. Uh, L-I-V-E. Live. Live, do you mean the verb? It's live. No, you mean this one? Esta que estoy señalando? Yes. Yes. All right. En esta se pronuncia lives. The same. Lives. 
Se pronuncia sí. casi lo mismo como el verbo, pero significa algo diferente. En inglés tenemos palabras que se llaman palabras homófonas. ¿Qué quiere decir eso? Palabras que se pronuncian de la misma manera, pero pueden tener un significado diferente. Ok, thank you. All right, if there is no questions, here we have some examples where we can use them. Aquí tenemos algunos ejemplos de cómo lo podemos utilizar. Number one, do the laundry. It says, I often do the laundry on Saturday morning. When it says, hang the clothes. You should hang the clothes when the sun shines. The next one, let me see, I will need some help. Uh, Monica Calderon, help me reading the first one. And then uh, Tatiana Martinez, number two. My mom loves ironing the clothes. My mom loves ironing the clothes. Okay, number two. We are taught to make the bed after getting out. We are taught. Esta palabra de acá, este verbo, está en pasado. Aquí lo pronunciamos taught. We are taught. We taught. are taught to make the bed after getting up. Okay. Thank you. Let me see. Ana Romero, number one, and Mario Barahona, number two, please. Ana Romero? Yes. Number one, please. Go to the bed. Late, late will have that effect to our health. Very good. Number two, Mario. I often wake up at six o'clock in the morning. Okay, thank you. Let me see okay. the next one. Fatima Estrada, number one, and Glenda Orellana, number two. Please, go ahead. The doctor's Advice, you to brush the teeth twice a day. Thank you. The doctor advised us to brush the teeth twice a day. Thank you so much. Glenda, please. Drive to work. My father sometimes drives to work instead of taking a bus. Thank you. My father sometimes drives to work instead of taking a bus. Thank you so much. Let me see, Kelia Osorio, number one, Lisette Castillo, number two. It's time to get home. Thank you. When, exactly, when did you last take a bus? Very good. Thank you so much. Let me see this one. Uh, who else? Mario, number one. Eric, number two. And Eduardo Mercado, number three. Go ahead, guys. Do not brush uh, your hair with too much force. Thank you. Do not brush your hair with too much force. Thank you. Number two. He surfed the net looking for a ways to study. Thank you. He surfed the net looking for ways to study. And the last one. Play with friends. Sunday will play with my friends. I accidentally 
broke a window in the store near out the home. Thank you. One day while playing with my friends, I accidentally broke a window in a store near to our home. Okay, here we have those examples that we just saw, guys. Those are some examples in sentences where you can use daily routines, right? So now, let me ask you, is there any questions so far, guys? Any question, any doubt, something that you would like me to explain to you one more time? Let me know, because if there are no questions, we are going to go to the practice. Teacher, what mean tau? Tau. Tau. Do you mean this one? Yes. It's the verb uh, teach. En presente el verbo se, se, llama, se escribe teach. Pero en pasado es enseñó. Pero el verbo en presente es enseñar. So here it says, we are taught, somos enseñados a hacer la cama después de levantar. Okay, it's a um, irregular verb. That's an irregular verb, correct. Teacher, sí. En este caso de los, de las rutinas, vamos a hablar en cualquier tiempo. Yeah, it really doesn't o sea, matter. Presente, pasado, y futuro. Yeah, like that. En realidad, if you can notice, por ejemplo, en esta que dice make the bed, hacer la cama. Yo puedo decir en futuro como I will make the bed after getting up. Si yo hablo en pasado, yo puedo decir I made the bed after I woke up. Hice la cama después que me, que me uh, levanté. Puedo hablar en presente. I make the bed after I get up. Puedo hablar en futuro cercano. I am going to make the bed after I get up. You see? We just, we can use all the tenses, todos los tiempos. What are we going to do? Solo modificar el verbo dependiendo en qué tiempo va. Thanks, teacher. Okay, any other question? All right, if there's no question, guys, please, you know, right? Take a photo, take a screenshot, or take something because we are going to work on that right now. So when you take the photo, let me know so we can go to the next one. Did you take the photo already? Yes. All right. So here we have number two. Done? Yes. yes. All right. Yes. Perfect. So let me get out of this so we can go to the breakout rooms. Oh my God. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what just happened with this. Yes. Oh my God, you know my computer isn't working. I don't know what's going on. Guys. 
just give me a moment. It's taking a while to fix this. Can you still see the, the slide? Yes. I don't know what's going on with Do you guys know what, what, oh my God. No, it is not working guys. So let me see what I can do right here. Estamos ubicados ahí. Can you still see the slide? Or yes. screen? I don't know guys what's going on. I cannot get out of the of the sharing screen, do you know what I can do? Technology doesn't want to work with me today. It's supposed to get out of the screen, but I cannot do anything. You see, they had to compartir uh, la pantalla. Yeah, that, that's, that's what I'm trying to do, but I cannot see. Like the Zoom application is not giving me the, the option to stop sharing. This. Alt S in the teclado, aprieta Alt, y luego la S. Debería de funcionar. O puede apretar no. el de la tecla de Windows para así quizás destrabar el programa. No, it's not working. Alt S. No, it's not working as well. No, I don't know. Do you have any idea of what can I do? Oh my God. Con Windows y la tecla D puede minimizar las pantallas, dicho. O presione Control Alt y suprimir. Ahí le va a dar las opciones para el administrador de tareas. Control, Control Alt. Suprimir o delete. Cualquiera de los dos tipos. El primero de Lit. Ajá. No. No. No clic derecho en la barra, en la barrita de abajo y ahí le sale el administrador de tareas y le da cancelar. O finalizar el PowerPoint. O puedo utilizar el, el Escape. O con al F4 también lo puede cerrar automáticamente. Cerrar. De uh, the, am I going to close what? The presentation or the call? Yes. Or the, or the meeting? Uh, no, la presentación. But I mean, I want to get out of the sharing the screen. Quiero hacer es dejar de compartir la pantalla. Mm. So, so I don't know. Oh my God, it's not working today. So never mind, guys. So we're going to work with, with what we have. So don't worry about that. Para tiempo difícil. Cierre el programa, creo que le dejaría de compartir también. Se cierra la pantalla que tiene. PowerPoint. 
So where do I click? Puede con Alt F4 para cerrar PowerPoint. Alt S4. Alt S4. No, it's not doing anything. Es laptop la que estoy usando. Yeah, that's a laptop. It's a Dell. Okay. Eh, es que las laptops tienen una tecla que dice FN o Function. Entonces, yeah. para que usted pueda usar el F4, muy, muy posiblemente tiene que apretar eso. Alt, Function y F4. Tampoco. Pero entiendo que el Zoom es el que... Yeah, I mean, that, that's, the application Zoom is not working. Okay, what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to, to close, to stop sharing, but it usually gives me a, some, uh, some kind of options here at the top, but now I cannot see like no options at all. No, it's not working. Okay, no problem. The problem is that I, if I don't stop sharing, how am I going to close? Y si bloquea la máquina y después me bloquea. No sé, a veces funciona con el teléfono. Yeah, but I don't know with this computer. No, it is different. It is actually intente, the first. Windows más la letra L y luego ingresa nuevamente. Tal vez así se lo desbloquea, como dice la compañera. All right, so I'm trying to do that. Let me see. No. no, I did it already. No, guys, it's not working. It doesn't want to work with me today. I don't know what, what's going on with this. That's a problem. But if I go to Zoom, I choose. No, it's not working. Well, no nos vamos a estar todo el día cabea solo tratando de resolver esto. So I'm going to see what I can do later on. So all right. So um, in this case, what we are going to do, we are going to try to resolve this by ourselves. It means we're going to do it together. Let me see. No. Okay. So can someone tell me how can uh, or what can we do with the letter A? What is that? It says just up. According, yeah. according to the to the routines that we saw today. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. It can be. Yes, wake up. Number, letter B. Wash my face. Wash my face, okay. Letter. Take a taxi. Take a taxi, where's that one? Feed the dog. Mm. Now, where's that? No, number three. Get dressed. 
get dressed, okay. Number letter D. Brush my hair. Brush my hair. The next one. Have breakfast. Have breakfast. Okay. The next one. Brush my teeth. Brush my teeth. Brush my teeth. And the last one. Wait for the bus. Take the bus. Take, Take the, bus. the bus. Okay. Take the bus. According to the to the, all the letters, now it says that we need to write the letters under the correct picture. The letter A. In which picture we can put it? It means one, two, three, four, five, six. And the last one. So wash your face. Which picture is going to be? Four. Four. The next one, Four. get dressed. Five. Number five, five. brush five. my hair. Three. 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 Have breakfast. One. 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 Brush my teeth. Two. 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 And the last one, obviously, is going to be number six, six right? So let's go with these ones. I, uh, as far as I know, on on Zoom, you are able to connect or to share or to do something with your finger. Can you do that with your finger just to connect? Let me see, can you do that? No. No? But I know that is, oh guys, this is not working today. Just the one uh, wash the car. Number one, it is wash the car. Wash the car, correct. Number two, brush my teeth. Brush my teeth. Mm -hmm. I a bath. Number three. A bath. Have a bath. Okay. Number four. Make the bed. Make the bed. The next one. Ride a bike. Ride a bike. Okay. Number four is play the guitar. Let's see. Play the guitar. Yes. Yes. What about let's see? Seven, go to school. Seven, let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Go to school. Yes, go to school. What about this one? Walk the walk. Walk the dog. This one? Wake up. Wake up. And the last read one, a book. Read a book. Okay, guys. Thank you so much. So I'm going to try to resolve this right now. I'm so sorry because this was not in my plans. But you know, sometimes we cannot do that much with the knowledge. So I'm trying. Let me try one more time what some of your thoughts might say that I have to lock it. 
and try to unlock them. It's not working, Jesus Christ, what's going on? No, I don't know, guys. Do you have any any other idea of what can I do to fix this? I try pretty much everything and it's not giving me an option. Any other idea, guys? What can I do with this? Because I don't have any idea at the moment. Can someone help me? Technology is not working with me today. Finished recording? I would like to see that. I mean, <laughs> uh, I'm trying to check that, that option, but I cannot click anywhere, anywhere else because I cannot see like nothing. I just can see your, your pictures that I'm like sharing the screen, but I cannot, oh, let me see. Teacher, in the exercise we did yesterday, in the one that left the job, where I asked you about the two, Yes. Eh, tengo dudas en la nueve que del do del da del do el la oración completa es do Andy. Yes. Say yes. shopping y está de paréntesis ahí dos veces el dos. No, 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 no. No, shopping. no, recuérdense que cuando vienen preguntas, aunque sea tercera persona, pero porque es pregunta, we do not have to modify it. Never. Solo cuando es una oración positiva, oración, más no preguntas. Aunque sepamos que hoy es con tercera persona, no tenemos que modificar el verbo. In that case, the answer it will be: Does Andy do the shopping? Does Andy do the shopping? That will be the answer. Understood? Affirmative. Yeah. Affirmative or positive. Cuando es preciso, me confundí con. Me, sí, me confundí cuando le dije das porque se me olvidó que estaba el signo. Pero eh, mi consulta es que como he estado veces. No, pero. Pues, pues, entonces, do, Andy, do. No, do no. ¿Cuál es el que vamos a utilizar primero? Es das. ¿Por qué? Porque tenemos a Andy. ¿Y Andy es qué? Ah, Andy tercera es... persona. Third person, correct. So we are going to say. Does Andy, Andy do, do the shopping? Uh, All right. Okay. Well, I just I okay. Uh, all right, guys. I just found find out an option that says stop video. I don't know if that's going to work, but I will try to do it because it is time right now, guys. So I will try to do this to click on this. Thank you so much for coming to the class and have a nice night, okay? See you on Monday. See you on Monday. Bye. Okay, bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.